feeling the acute pangs of separation from her, he fainted. arrangement, Narad Rishi and Uddhav appeared there and saw Krishna lying unconscious. Narad and Uddhav are very dear to Sri Krishna. They know everything and so they could understand why this condition had come. Krishna is feeling the acute pangs of separation from his most beloved Radha. Perhaps he is going to disclose some very confidential Leela, and that is why he is in such a condition. But how can we bring Krishna back to consciousness? Ah, oh, Balaram Prabhu, just see what has happened to Krishna. He is completely out of sense. What should we do? I think that if Narada Rishi were to sing of the glories of Braj Bhumi, accompanied with his Veena, then Krishna would certainly regain consciousness. Yes, this is a good idea. But I have one apprehension. As soon as Krishna will wake up, what will happen? Don't you know? He will immediately run to Raj Bhumi. Krishna is mad now and he will never wait for us. So a chariot should be prepared for him first. You are correct. But as far as I have understood, the condition of the Raj Basis is such that if Krishna goes there and hears the hideous crime, he will not be able to tolerate it. Then the consequences will be even more precarious. We will not be able to get Krishna back. There will be no hope. Oh, Uda, you are Krishna's very good messenger, and you are also very dear to him. So I think you should go to Vrindavan and inform the Vajvasis of Krishna's arrival from Dwarka. Then they will be able to prepare themselves for his welcomes. I accept whatever you say on my head. I have no objection. When elevated Vaishnav devotees are requesting me, I cannot refuse. But I have one thing to say. You may already know this. My friend Lord Krishna once sent me to Bhumi from Mathura. So I went there as a messenger and stayed for three months. I had gone to give some consolation to Nanda Baba, Yashoda Maya, the Sakas and the Gopis. They are feeling the acute pangs of separation from Krishna, who is their life and soul. But what consolation could I give them? They are crying day and night, 24 hours. If someone here in this material world loses his near and dear ones, or his hard-earned money, he may cry day and night. In that case, one may say, why are you crying? Everything in this material world is temporary. Chatasya hi dhruvo One who is born must die someday. So death is certain. We do not need to lament for this. But the Braj Basis are crying for Krishna. And if someone is crying for Krishna, who is the supreme object of love, how can you say don't cry? It would be an offense. 
Rather, my heart says to tell them, cry more, cry more, cry more. Therefore, my language failed. My mission failed. I could not give them any consolation at all. Finally, I told them I am going back to Mathura and I will do my best to send your Krishna to you immediately. I gave them my word, but it has not happened. So if I were to go there now and speak like this to them, they could not put any faith in my words. Rather, they will say, Udav, you are a liar. You are a cheater. You had promised us this before, and it has not taken place. My dear Nard, how can I go to them? Oh, Balaram, I think it is better that you go. My dear Narda Muni, you see, I would go to Brajbhumi. I would not wait for anyone. But please, consider this. Krishna, he's always saying, yes, I will go, I will go. But he is not actually going. He is only procrastinating. I have been to Braj, and I have seen the condition of the Brajbasis. I stayed there for two months, and I could not console them. I tried to tell them, please, be patient. Don't feel distress. Krishna will be coming soon. <coughs> but their condition is like that of a fish out of water. I could understand clearly that without Krishna, without his presence, there could be nothing to console them. They cannot survive. It is as if they are dying, feeling the pangs of separation from Krishna. And still he has not gone there. His presence would be a soothing balm to them. Especially Yashoda Maya. She is always weeping. When I was there, I touched her lotus feet, and I said, Maya, don't worry, as soon as I go back to Dwarka, I will do my best to send Krishna back to Rajbhumi immediately. So please, just wait a few days. I gave her my word. What has happened? I requested Krishna many, many times. I said, oh Krishna, oh my dear Chotabhaya, please, come to Brajamini, or they will all die. I asked him to suspend all his work here, leave everything and go to Braj, to make them survive. They had gone there. Previously, whatever he wanted him, he would carry out immediately. But this, he has not yet done. Oh, Narad, you are all-knowing, so please tell me, if I were to go to Braj, what would I tell the Brajbasis? What could I tell to Ishoda Maya? Would she put faith in my words? No, she would not believe me. Rather, she would say, Balaram, you are a liar. You are a cheater. <coughs> Alas, my dear rich bassies, are you still surviving? Oh, Krishna, your heart is as soft as butter. Navanita Hridaya. How strange it is that such a soft heart has become as hard as a block of stone. All right. I will go. I will go first. All of you. And give up your anatomy. I will go to Vrindavan. I will sit on the lap of Mother Yasoda. I'll wipe the tears from her eyes and say, Oh, Mother. Krishna is coming just now. My 
two brothers and I started from the market together. But along the road, many people assembled. They have constructed many big gates. So many kings are standing along the roadside. Innumerable people are carrying Arctic plates just to offer food to fishing. So he is coming a bit later. I have come in advance just to give you this good news. Don't worry. He is coming. <coughs> Krishna is coming. Similarly, I will go to each gopi. I will wipe the tears from their eyes and console them. I will tell them, male persons are a little bit crooked. We <laughs> females are very simple. I'm a woman. So when they hear from me that Krishna is coming, they will put faith in my words. And then all the rich bosses will become very grateful and make arrangements to observe a great festival to welcome Krishna. And then after Krishna has met with all his good friends, I will tell him that his father Vasudev and his mother Devaki and all the residents of Martha are crying so much. And then I will quickly bring Krishna back to the world. Yes. This is a very good proposal. Let the chariots prepare it immediately. I cannot allow my brother Krishna to go alone. And I also, I want to see Maya and Baba and all my dear friends. So I will go too. Subhadra is going, I will go with her. All right, both of you will go. And when the chariots have started, Narad will sing Braj Leela Kahani on his Veena. When Krishna wakes, we will send him on his chariot immediately. Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari Jai Jai Radha Ramana Hari intoxicated. With much difficulty, Narad and Udav caught hold of him and placed him on the chariot. Then Narad ordered Daruka to drive the chariot to Braj, and Daruka drove as swiftly as the wind. When Balaram and Subhadra reached Vrindavan and saw the state of the Vrindavasis, they could not do anything. Subhadra could not comfort Mother Yashoda or the gopis. They became like statues, only seeing the love and affection of the Vrajabhasis for Krishna. In the meantime, in a kunj in Nidhuvan, Srimati Radhika's condition 
was gradually becoming worse. That Ariruddha Mahabhav, the highly advanced state of ecstatic love, is just like a dying condition. The whole of Rajbhumi was in complete anxiety. All the residents of Vrindavan, including Jatila, Kotila, Abhimanyu, and Chandravali, assembled at Radharani's Kunj. They saw that she was about to die and that she could not be saved. Yogamaya informed them that Srimati Radhika was actually Hladini Shakti Lila Vilas, Krishna's pleasure and pastime potency. They all begged Srimati Radharani's forgiveness. All her sakis were doubtful whether or not that she was still alive. By Yogamaya's arrangement, Krishna appeared there in Niduvan, where Radharani was lying. Krishna, feeling the acute pangs of separation from Radharani, became completely ecstatic. Seeing her condition, he lost his consciousness and fell to the ground. His hands and legs were pushed into his body and he became like a tortoise. This form is the form of Lord Jagannath. With big dilated eyes, he is only gazing at Radharani, who is lying in the kunj. At that time, the wind blew over the transcendental body of Krishna. When that wind touched the body of Radharani, who was about to die, it acted like a soothing bomb. Radharani's life returned immediately. Dear Vishaka, please help Krishna. You know the medicine that will save him.
Krishna regained his consciousness and opened his eyes. By Krishna's desire, Yogamaya covered all the residents of Braj, such as Abhimanyu, Jatila, Kutila, and Chandravali, and their original moods, qualities, and characteristics returned. Now, Krishna is looking at Radharani, and Radharani is looking at her Shamsandra. My dear Radhe, where is Viraha? Where is separation? In Tattva, there is no separation at all. I am always with you in Vrindavan. This Viraha is the topmost platform in Prem, loving affairs. If there had not been separation, then our love would have met an untimely death. Radhe, your love for me is like a very deep, fathomless ocean. And in order to reach such an ocean and dive deep into that great ocean, I have consumed that form of Jagannath. In that form, I will remain eternally in Sri Chaitra Dham. Radhe, I cannot repay my debt to you for your spotless service. Therefore, please let your own glorious deeds be your compensation. Shri Shri Radha Shyam Sundar Juki. Especially that was Sri Rupa Manjari Karar Chitapata Padma Gostenda Nandana Bujar Piti Mastikaya Hamo Data Kanak Om Padar Shambhana Nishad. Oh, that is the wish of Sri Dharapna Das Goswami. Oh, will I be like that? That Rupa Manjari will call me and give her mercifully his, her, her remnant. What was that? Oh, yes, sir. Srimati Radhika's feet. And Krish, uh, Radhika's head is in the lap of Shyamshandar Krishna. Yeah? And she will call me. And thus he entered in Rati Manjari mood there. Very excellent. Two years so very good height. I saw so many drama plays here. I became happy. More and more happy. Like my Bharat and his Siddham and all did so. I was happy, but not satisfied. <laughs> I wanted to see more. Madhurena Samapayeta. I wanted that some more. Sweet pastimes of Krishna should be shown and played. But today I am somewhat satisfied. Thank you so much. My blessings to those who have 
what direct like order of please oh thank you for the and i'm happy that you made me cry yeah i got them especially the moods of oh radhika bishakha lalita and others what the daughter of pran kishor and my bhara uh, lalita and others oh especially the moods of oh sankarshan baladev prabhu oh heart touching heart touching really especially of the mood of radhika she played oh was oh what wonderful wonderful oh. my blessing to uddhava oh krishna also krishna excellent also narad devaki oh madan ke soda oh nand baba oh also oh uh, subhadra also like director musician and director what name narrator narrator what name narrator arav bhati and devaki maiya very devaki maiya so excellent so and more some hope more hope i'm very <coughs> happy and satisfied that the mood is very hot but even you what expressed in so good way all the views so you are intelligent and you know, to be a high class of devotee hari bol hari bol that is that whether you are in worldly life in family life or renounce as you are bold and enough or no heart to be a family life and for women <coughs> that is it is better to be in a number but try to develop you <coughs> you should not be entangled in worldly affairs so much try to develop your hearts in the same mood that you showed here especially the gopis go and radhika my blessing is there go pramad hari bol for this drama play i cannot repay you hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna
Shila Guru Dev Ki Jai! 